I am the famous American. I made a video and instantly got a comment already that I think is pretty, by default it's fascinating because I don't think that there's a clear answer on this, but teamwork people, global teamwork, maybe we can find an answer to this question. So I made a video called USA Man Sees Morocco as Non-White slash why the USA is brainwashed to see race. So if you haven't watched that video and you want to find out more why we are brainwashed, ultimately it's the government. They make us fill out forms to self-identify all the time and also employers do the same thing to make sure that we're not discriminated against because of our race. They want to make sure if we are a minority that we have equal opportunity. That's the answer and we can talk more about that. I have talked about it recently. I'll be talking about it more in other videos. But Officer Makano left a comment. So therefore, this video exists because let's respond to this. He commented, quote, yet the USA has the highest levels of racism globally. So I responded and said, how can we know this is true? It's like Napoleon Dynamite by default, one of my favorite movies. And it's like when Kip goes in the house and is watching that football uh, video that Uncle Rico does where he's just him throwing a football. Or in, if you're in Europe, I'm, yeah, American football is what I'm supposed to say, right? Because to me, that's a football and soccer is, yeah, okay. So in American football, he's throwing a football, not a soccer ball. And uh, Napoleon is sitting there too, and Napoleon Dynamite says, uh, this is pretty much the dumbest video I've ever seen, to which Kip says, like anyone can even know that. Well, that's how I feel about this question, to, to proclaim that the USA has the highest levels of racism globally. I'm basically saying, how can anybody know that? Uh, but he responded back, he said, honestly, I don't know, it's just my humble opinion. So I said, I will make a video to ask everyone. So by the way, if you're watching this video, you're invited to the party. You get to throw in your two cents, your nickel and dime. Your opinion matters. I value what you say because I feel this is one of those questions. There's no definitive answer on this, but it's worth having a discussion to find out how we feel about this. I think the first question we need to ask if, you know, as we try to solve the mystery, and let me get the wording right because I want to make sure we're asking the correct fundamental question. What Officer Makana is saying is the USA has the highest levels of racism globally. So what I want to do is turn that question around and, and ask you, the audience, which country has the highest levels of racism globally? Now, because of the word has, and keep in mind I have an English degree, that I was an English major, I am assuming we're saying which nation currently has the highest levels of racism globally. See, what's confusing about this is, are we talking about in the history of the world? Are we looking at the very racist history of the United States? And assuming that that implies that it's the same now? Now we're overly aware of race. And we've got a government program in, in progress to help prevent racism in, as far as in so many ways. So we've come a long way, that's an understatement. But, and then look at the Native American thing, the Trail of Tears, that whole thing. We've had a very racist history. We're very woke now, we're in, we're in 2020, we're very aware of that. That awareness ironically leads to us being overly aware of our race, as I mentioned in the previous video. So I think if we're talking about current day, which nation currently has the highest level of racism? Can we, is it truly say, fair to say it's the United States now in 2020, not comparing us to the 1960s, not comparing us to the 1860s, not comparing us to all of that bad stuff that happened. But if we're looking forward, 2020, right? In 2020, are we really the most racist country? Now, I will tell you some racist things that I do not appreciate about the United States of America that still happen right now. You know, I look at who's in the prisons, it's mainly black men, mainly Hispanic men. You're more likely to be convicted of a crime and end up in jail or prison if you're a minority. That's racist. It bothers me. I don't like it. It's a problem. So I'm aware of that. There are still these things that happen where black people are just gunned down by white people because they thought that the black person was a fugitive or running from a crime scene, whatever. That just happened again here in the United States. 
So that still happens. But does that truly mean we're the most racist country on earth now? I don't know that it does. Does racism, racism exist in the USA? Absolutely. Collectively, are we okay with it? Absolutely not. It's a matter of knowing that we don't look at the exception to the rule and assume that that's the norm. So what I would have to say is, we have to explore other countries in this discussion. What other countries could possibly be, have bigger racism problems than us? When I'm looking at recent history, and we were, say, let's look at genocide, right? What about Rwanda, where within a country, again, are we even talking about race? They're both African descent, but they're two different genetic backgrounds or two different histories, two different groups of people within African. See, that's why race is a social construct, and I openly admit this. It's whatever we ultimately contrive it to be. But when we talk about a million people dying in a country of genocide, we have China back in the 70s, right? Millions of people died then, but it was their own people in the name of communism. So is that racism against yourself? Can you be racist against yourself? Does that not count because they're the same race? Then we could, we could look at Germany back, but see that's going back in time to genocide of, of the Jewish people. So if we're keeping it a modern day discussion where a country is openly racist, I would say the worst way to figure this out is, the worst way, worst way to measure this is, which country on earth still openly is killing people because of their racial background? I think that's the first way to figure it out. As far as talking about discrimination, that you could die openly, like the law is aware of it, the police is aware of it, uh, the government's okay with it, openly. Not like in the United States where there's injustice happening to black people especially, and like I said, the whole thing about men in prison are mainly black, but you're also more likely to end up there because you're black to begin with, are the countries that openly just kill people because of the race. We'd have to start there, because I, I would feel if that happens, that's more racist than the United States. We'd also have to think, otherwise, which countries openly discriminate against minorities, and I say openly do it, as far as like the law is okay with it, the, the majority of people are okay with it. Because here in the United States, you know, I, and I'm middle of the road as far as po politics go, but there is one political party who's very much openly against racism. And then there's the other side that is painted as the racist side. But it's still split as far as those perceptions. But I'm, are there countries where the majority is okay with, with the racism part? I don't know. I'm asking questions here. What other countries out of the hundreds that exist are openly racist? I think, I think that's probably the key, key phrase. Which countries are openly racist and as collectively they're okay with that. America has a racist past, absolutely, and it's still sorting all that out. But collectively, no matter where you fall politically, you're aware of that and you're wanting to get past that. Now what's interesting too is, if we are still a racist country, it makes me think about our entertainers. When I think about the highest paid entertainers we have, and I'm, when I say entertainers, I'm, I'm also talking about athletes. At, that's, that's entertainment. Sports is entertainment. Sports is a huge deal here in the United States. It's entertainment. But when you look at who is on stage, who's on the court, who's on the field, I would, I would actually say that in a way we worship black celebrities. We worship black athletes and actors and musicians. You can't find a category of whether it's sports, music, actors. You're going to find that through the free market, voting with our dollars, paying for entertainment, we're paying for black people to be rich and famous. That's what we're voting for. So we, that's where we're at right now. I would say if we were openly racist, then we wouldn't collectively be making those people rich and famous in, in that regard. Now granted, I understand it's probably more difficult for a black person to become famous and acting than a white person. So they say, I don't know. But even still, we have a high regard for black entertainers. And in our country, in the United States, we're very big into entertainment. That's a big part of our value system. So I understand that, yeah, we've got racist issues going on, but teach me. Let's talk about the rest of the world, modern day, modern day, where does open racism exist to where the major part of the population is still okay with it, endorses it. 
ultimately asking which nation is the most racist country on earth currently, forget about the past, right now in 2020, your answer belongs right here.